Mac OS 11 Big Sur is one of Apple's largest overhaul to Mac OS to date. And in this video, we're going to go over 11 best new features that you need to know for Mac OS 11 Big Sur. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. So right from the start, one of the biggest new changes that you'll notice right away is the UI redesign. The windows have a lighter, more spacious look that makes everything look really clean, and Apple went a little heavy on the translucency in the windows, the dock, and the menu bar, but I do think it makes everything look much more modern and clean. App icons received shape uniformity, something that I really do enjoy seeing in the dock, but they also received a refresh in design as well. I'm still not sure what to think about some of these new app icons as I'm kind of still getting used to them, but I would love to know your thoughts uh, down in the comments below. Mac OS Big Sur also implemented full height sidebars, much like iPad OS 14, which makes it easier to track things in your mail inbox, access and organize different notes or files, etc. Aside from the new look and feel, the menu bar also adds a familiar new feature, which is Control Center. This control center consolidates some menu bar items that you might not need scattered throughout the top, but instead will get instant access to toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, Do Not Disturb, Keyboard and Display Brightness, and more. If there's something that you do want easier access to, you can pin these items by simply dragging and dropping anywhere on the menu bar. The Notification Center also received a nice update and redesign with which it's being organized into a single dedicated column alongside your notifications, instead of having to switch between two different tabs like in previous macOS versions. The widgets themselves have been updated to look more like those found in iOS 14, and perhaps my favorite thing about the new Notification Center are the grouped notifications. Notifications are now grouped by thread or application, and you can expand each group to see previous notifications making macOS and iOS much more in line with notifications. These notifications are also more interactive, and if you click and hold on one of them, you can then take action or see more information. Safari in macOS Big Sur is packed full of new features that we could really spend an entire video on, but some of the more notable ones include the new customizable smart page that gives you custom controls over something like the background image or what sections are displayed like favorites, Siri suggestions, reading list, and more. Apple offers a few image options for your custom backgrounds, but you can also just upload your own image too. Safari now offers a new translation feature that when on a compatible web page, Safari can just translate the entire web page by simply clicking the translate icon in the navigation bar. Safari offers translations for languages such as English, Spanish, Chinese, French, German, just to name a few. Mac OS 11 Big Sur is very feature rich in the privacy department and one new interesting privacy feature comes in the Safari app and that's the new privacy report. Clicking the privacy report icon in the Safari toolbar will give users a full report on how Safari protects your browsing across each website that you visit. You'll see information on every cross-site tracker that was blocked in efforts to prevent trackers from really just following your profile around the web. Now, if you're a 1,000 tabs open at one time kind of Safari person, then you'll be happy to know that Safari implemented a handy feature in which you can see web previews of each open tab by simply just hovering your mouse over that tab. A window will pop up with the website preview that you're on, saving you from having to open individual tabs and kind of search around in order to find what you're looking for. If you are a 1000 tabs open at one time kind of person, you're probably a little bit worried about battery life and performance of your Mac with all of those tabs open at one time. Apple now offers battery usage history with new graphs of battery level and your usage for the past 24 hours or for the past 10 days and your Mac can now take advantage of optimized battery charging in order to improve its lifespan. Your Mac will learn your charging routine and it will activate optimized battery charging only when it thinks it will be on a charger for longer periods of time. The Messages app in Big Sur also got a much needed upgrade and it's updated to match its iOS and iPadOS 14 counterparts. This means users can pin and have multiple pin conversations, a more streamlined and efficient search engine for links, photos, or phrases inside of the Messages app, mentions in group chats, as well as in-line replies. You can also send GIFs and Memoji stickers easily in the Messages app, and can even edit Memoji on the Mac too. 
Inside of the Photos app, Apple expanded its video editing capabilities, giving users the ability to make adjustments, add filters, and crop videos. So this is great for those of you who just want to make a few edits to a video, like maybe rotate it, increase exposure, or even apply a filter without having to import that video into something like iMovie or another third-party application. You can just do it all inside of the Photos app. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, macOS Big Sur offers a ton of new features and a new look and feel, but the update also adds new system sounds to your Mac. Perhaps the biggest new addition is the comeback of the startup chime. For those who have missed this sound when booting up your Mac, enjoy. And that's it. These are 11 of the best new features that we think you need to know before the upcoming release of Mac OS 11 Big Sur. If there's something that you think we left out that you want everyone to know about, go ahead and comment that feature in the comment section down below. And of course, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this one in the future. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.